This is Ian Perry, Project Supervisor here at Candrone. And I'm Nicholas, Customer Success Specialist at Candrone. Today we're going to be going over two fantastic handheld LiDAR scanners, uh, particularly for mining and GPS denied areas is where these sensors shine. Here we have the LiGrip H300 from Green Valley International. And on this side, we have the Hovermap STX from Emicent. So SLAM scanners, what are they? Well, SLAM is an acronym, Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. It pretty much means that as you move through space with these scanners, they navigate in that space as well as map it with LiDAR at the same time. So a really important component of mapping an area with a SLAM scanner is closing the loop. Pretty much means you need to end up roughly where you began when you started scanning. That means that you get a lot of overlap between the start area and the end of where you scan to ensure that internally uh, you create the tightest point cloud possible. So why don't you take us through some of the components of that lie grip? We have two components here, the scanner and the data bank. Uh, so here we have the LiDAR scanner itself, or the puck. It's a 360 degree rotating scanner. Uh, so you pick up points all around you. Uh, the data bank here carries the battery as well as the internal storage of the system. Uh, and at the top here, we have the camera. Now, some key features of the camera, it is a 360 degree uh, camera. So you're picking up mm. video from all around you while you're scanning. Uh, and when you start a scan, it actually starts and stops recording mm. for you. So you don't have to worry about forgetting a step there. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you tell us a bit about the uh, hover map there? So the hover map uh, has an external camera. Something to remember about this is you have to turn the camera on and start record, and then stop record, turn the ca camera off separately from starting and stopping the scan. So you do have to remember to do that, but the data storage is internal on this unit. And uh, like the lie grip, it incorporates this 360 degree field of view with the rotating puck and the handle configuration up on top here. Similar to the lie grip, the hover map has a, uh, an external battery. This is the core nano battery. Mm -hmm. um, it will come with this uh, belt clip that you can put on like so. Just have to be mindful that this is not a 360 uh, degree field of view. A, camera so to get really good coloration in your point cloud you do have to be mindful and point this camera up to colorize aspects of the point cloud say above you in a underground mine in a stope like that uh, so what's the accuracy like on the hover map so emerson boasts a plus or minus one centimeter accuracy with the hover map what about yours uh, same thing with the H300. Uh, it's advertised up to one centimeter of accuracy, so you're going to get some really nice points there with your LiDAR. Provided that you close the loop. Yeah. End sure. up where you started. Now, can you take us through the mobile app and how it interfaces with your sensor? I've installed the Green Valley app. You can see I have the status of the sensor. I can see, you know, it's ready to do a scan. I can see the different projects I have here that I've taken in the past. Uh, I can see the battery bank has up to 500 gigabytes of storage, which, I mean, how many scans is that? That's a lot. Yeah. How about the uh, hover map there? Well, with the hover map, there's no app, but you would uh, link up to the system's Wi-Fi network as with the lie grip. And then once I'm connected, I would go to a browser and I would just type in hover.map. Uh, um, this is a pretty simple uh, interface. There's not a lot of distraction here. It gives you the basics. You can name your scan, start and stop your scan. You've got the uh, status of the IMU and the uh, LiDAR sensor. Well, we've shown these uh, two units in their hand scanning configuration, but both of them actually uh, also involve backpack mounting. So yeah. why don't we pull those out and take a look? This is the Hovermap backpack. The backpack obviously comes with space to put extra batteries. 
and it uh, wears fairly nicely. It's got 360 degree field of view. There is of course a shadow so that you're not just scanning the back of your body, but everything from maybe a meter, meter and a half and beyond. Why don't you show us your backpack configuration? So as you can see, there's a few extra gadgets on this backpack here. Uh, we got the GNSS antenna and a little RTK receiver there. Mm. Now what these allow you to do is collect GNSS data while you're scanning. So you can geo-reference your point cloud. Exactly. You get the, uh, the option to use PPK or RTK. So if you want to collect those corrections in real time, mm -hmm. uh, you can use something like an NTRIP network yeah. uh, to receive those. Uh, or you can set up a base station. Locally. Lo locally, yeah and uh, apply the data that that base station collects to your data in post-processing. Yeah, those Rhinix files, right? Exactly. So geo-referencing the Hovermap point cloud uh, would require using a series of ground control points. So unlike with the LiGrip, we don't have a RTK or PPK solution readily available. We'd have to take our survey equipment, so an independent base rover, or some pre-existing ground control, and we would apply those known coordinates to our point cloud once it had been processed. So it's maybe a few more steps than geo-referencing the LiGrip. All right, why don't you tell us how the LiGrip integrates with a drone? Yeah, so there is a mount that you can get for the LiGrip that, so you can put it on the M300. Uh, now, what that allows you to do is collect that SLAM LiDAR data from mm. the drone. So it gives you a bit more mobility, you know, being on the drone, you can get to a place where you might not be able to walk to. Yeah. Uh, but that's kind of it, you know? It's a SLAM sensor you can attach to a drone, not much more to it than that. Right, not talking about any kind of automation in that respect. No. Yeah, see this hover map is a real titan in SLAM scanning for its ability to integrate with an M300 drone but to also provide autonomous flight up to autonomy level two, which is partial automation, which in practice looks like you send a drone into the area of interest and its navigational aid is the hover map and the SLAM capabilities. So where the pilot can't see or navigate safely with a lot of obstacles, say in a stope, in a mining application, the drone will be delivered to the area of interest and back again with the hover map controlling the navigation. So that is a real bonus of Emerson's platform. Ian, why don't you talk about the use cases with the hover map a little bit? For sure. So, you know, of course, both of these scanners do a great job in simultaneous localization and mapping. I would say that where the Emicent hover map shines is in those underground or indoor environments. And that's because you can use it on an M300 DJI drone and go into a very tight space and navigate obstacles with SLAM. And so that would be where this unit is doing very well right now. What kind of use cases can you foresee for the H300? Well, with the H300, I would say it really shines at uh, terrestrial kind of scans, you know, your urban areas, cities, uh, forestry is another one. Uh, since you can collect GNSS data so yeah. easily and georeference so easily, I think that's where this sensor really shines. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, it's still very good at underground indoor scans as well. Uh, but particularly terrestrial is, is where I think it shines the best. Yeah, both great scanners for mining applications, above ground mining, stockpiles and so on, where GNSS uh, georeferencing is almost always uh, required, probably go with the LiGrip. Whereas if you're almost always indoors, below ground, where there's no GNSS coverage and georeferencing is not a huge priority, then the hover map is going to be your number one choice. So we've reviewed two really excellent LiDAR scanners, particularly for mining applications, the Emicent hover map, and the LiGrip H300 by Green Valley International. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our other social media channels. Go to candrone.com and don't hesitate to reach out to us for more information on these or other products. Until next time, thank you for watching.